Good morning class. I am happy Narang, your subject teacher of environmental science. Today I am going to cover the topic of introduction to environmental science. So let's start what the environment is. Environment is basically when forest cover about a third of the earth's land area and are essential to the health of our environmental. For example, trees and forest absorb and store much of the carbon dioxide that otherwise would be contributing to climate change. Forests are home to about 80% of remaining terrestrial biodiversity. Forests also regulate water cycles, maintain soil quality and reduce the risk of natural disasters such as floods. Many of these services are undervalued although they are key to the resilience and green growth of local, national and global economies. Increasing finance for forest conservation and protection is a priority, particularly at time when natural systems are coming under demographic, economic and climatic pressure. Although the pace of deforestation has slowed in some reasons, the world still loses about 14.5 million hectares of forest each year. Worldwide an estimated 2 billion hectares of lost or degraded. Forest landscapes could be restored and rehabilitated, returning landscapes and communities to their healthy productive potential. In the earlier slide, we talked about environmental and now we'll talk about the forest. So what the forest is? The forest is a complex ecosystem consisting mainly of trees that buffer the earth and support a myriad of life forms. The trees help create a special environment which in turn affects the kind of animals and plants that can exist in the forest. Trees are an important component of the environment. They clean the air, cool it on hot days, conserve heat at night and act as excellent sound absorbers. And plants provide a protective canopy that lessens the impact of raindrops on the soil, thereby reducing soil erosion. The layer of leaves that fall around the tree prevents runoff and allows the water to percolate into the soil. Roots help to hold the soil in place and dead plants decompose to form humus, organic matter that holds the water and provide nutrients to the soil. And plants provide the habitat to different types of organisms. Birds build their nest on the branches of trees, animals and birds live in the hollows insects and other organisms live in various parts of the plant and they produce large quantities of oxygen and take in carbon dioxide transpiration from the forest affect the relative humidity and precipitation in a place and the fao food and agriculture organization has defined forest as land with tree crown cover or equivalent stocking level of more than 10% and area of more than 0.5 hectare. The trees should be able to reach a minimum height of 5 meter at maturity in situ. Forests are further subdivided into plantation and natural forest. Natural forests are forests composed mainly of indigenous trees not deliberately planted and plantations are forest stands established by planting or sitting or both in the process of frustration reforestation and forest can develop wherever the average temperature is greater than 10 degrees celsius in the warmest month and rainfall exceeds 200 meter 200 millimeter annually in any area having conditions above this range there exists a variety of tree species grouped into a number of forest types that are determined by the specific conditions of the environment there including the climate, soil geology and 
biotic activity so now comes the classification of forest forest can be broadly classified into types such as the taiga consisting of pines spurs etc the mixed temperate forest with both coniferous and deciduous trees the temperate forest the subtropical forest the tropical forest and the equatorial rain forest the six major groups of forest in india are moist tropical dry tropical montane subtropical montane temperate subalpine and alpine these are subdivided into 16 major types of forest now we are discussing about forest environment the forest environment or site consists of the physical environment surrounding the aerial portion of the tree climatic factors and that surrounding the subterranean portion adaptive factor and the third one is biotic factor external influences particularly fire grazing and browsing animals and humans affect markedly the nature of sites and their capacity to support tree growth as the forest becomes established and develops the site itself is greatly changed forest cover moderates the extreme diurnal temperature regime of open site resulting in more uniform conditions wind velocity is slowed in the vicinity of tree crowns and becomes negligible within the forest and trees crowns intercept sunlight and alter the quantity and quality of radiation reaching forest floor compared with that reaching open sides on the forest floor accumulating layers of leaves twigs and other litter attract a characteristics grouping of plants and animals that live on decaying organic matter and on each other so now we are going to discuss the importance of forest environment there are many importance of forest environment like forest form a third of all land on earth providing vital organic infrastructure for some of plants densest and most diverse collection of life and forest supports countless species as well as 1.6 billion human livelihood yet humans are also responsible for 32 million acres of deforestation every year forest products affect our daily lives forest products are used in dirty our daily lives the fruits paper and wood from trees go into daily manufacturing of goods and other items we use daily and forest by products also go into the manufacture of other everyday items like medicine cosmetic and detergents and forest are very important in biodiversity and livelihood for humans forest provide habitats to diverse animal species and they also form the source of livelihood for many different human settlements as well as for governments and forest offer watershed protection provide the timber and non timber products and so many recreational venues and forest prevent soil erosion help in maintaining the water cycle and check global warming by using carbon dioxide in photosynthesis and now comes the effects of deforestation for over half a century about half the world's original forest cover has been lost the most significant cause for that being humans beings unsystematic use of its resources when deforestation occurs the trees shrubs and the entire ecosystem begins to fall apart with dire consequences for all of us major effects of deforestation are global warming climatic imbalance soil erosion wildlife extinction and floods 
now we are going to discuss how we will protect the forest and stop deforestation encourage tree planting simply meaning plant a young tree for each old tree that is felled and go paperless then we can do use recycled products and encourage recycling and government should make laws to ban tree cutting and encourage use of gas for cooking instead of fire now comes the ecological role of forest there are many ecological roles of forest and some of them we will discuss here forest provides an environment for many species of plants and animal thus protects and sustain the diversity of nature and plant provide habitat to different types of organisms birds build their nest on the branches of trees animal and birds live in the hollows insect and other organism live in various parts of the plant and forest act as hydrologic flow modulators and plant provides a protective canopy that lessens the impact of raindrops on the soil thereby reducing soil erosion and roots helps to hold the soil in place and they provide shade which prevents soil to become too dry thus increases the soil moisture holding capacity and forest helps in maintaining microclimate of the area and plants clean the air cool it on hot days conserve heat at night and act as excellent sound absorbers and transpiration from the forest affect the relative humidity and precipitation in a place and forest clean the environment by muffling noises buffering strong winds and stopping dust and gases and the layer of leaves that fall around the trees prevent runoff and allows the water to percolate into the soil thus helping in ground water recharge and dead plants decompose to form humus organic matter that holds the water and provide nutrients to the soil through the process of photosynthesis forests renew the oxygen supply in the atmosphere by absorbing atmosphere co2 and moderating the greenhouse effect as per the report published by ministry of environment and forest during august 2009 the annual carbon dioxide removal by india's forest and tree cover is enough to neutralize 11.25% of india's total ghg emissions carbon dioxide equivalent at 1994 levels this is the equivalent to offsetting 100% emissions from all energy in residential and transport sectors or 40% of total emissions from the agriculture sector clearly india's forest and tree cover is serving as a major mode of carbon mitigation for india and the world and forest cover of an area plays an important role in amount of precipitation received by the area thus play an important role in maintaining water cycle of the area and some species of trees have the ability to return nitrogen to the soil through root decomposition or fallen leaves such trees are planted to increase the nitrogen content of the soil and forest absorbs suspended particles in air thereby reducing pollution forest also helps in the process of soil formation by causing weathering of rock and they play a vital role in maintaining healthy watershed rivers originate in a forest area and carry the organic matter form forest to the downstream thus supporting a variety of fishes and aquatic animals and the richness of forest in upstream decides the biological value of the river ecosystem supported by it and it provides forest food 
which has great medicinal value and used by local people in the respective season here we will discuss the functions of forest there are following functions direct functions of forest like food clothing shelter fuel raw material for industries medicinal plants and ecological balance now comes indirect functions of meat likewise forest stabilizes the climate maintains the ecological and environmental balance of the area and shape the landscape of the area then influence on natural disaster shelter desertification recreation travel and tourism now comes the contribution to economy there are many contributions to economy and some of them we will be discussing here it provides valuable items like timber paper fuel wood bamboo cane food fibers and essential oil forest plants provide hundreds of medicinal plant species poisons insecticides soap substitutes like ritha and shikakai tendu leaves used in bd wrapping and forest also provide food for cattle and other grazing animals leaves and twigs of some plants have high food value and it is useful for the source during drought in addition to this forest are also popular areas for relaxation and recreation and they add the aesthetic value of the area thank you